On question number six, we want to factor the expression b squared minus 15b plus 56 completely. First, notice that a is equal to 1 because there's no number in front of our squared term. So this is another problem that we can solve using the x method. For the x method, we want to find two numbers that multiply to c while adding to b. So setting up my x here, that would be multiply to positive 56 and add to negative 15. Now to multiply to a positive, you need either two positive numbers or two negative numbers. But in order to add to a sum of negative 15, we're going to need two negative numbers. So my factors are both going to be negative here. So that way they multiply to a positive and add to a negative. Now, if you see the factors right away, you can just go to your answer. If you're not sure, you can list out factor pairs of 56. I'm gonna do that here. One times 56 is 56. Two times 28. Now, 56 divided by three does not divide evenly, so skip over three. 56 divided by four is 14. I know five doesn't go into 56. Six does not go into 56. But 56 divided by 7 divides evenly. 7 times 8 is 56. Now, in order to add to negative 15, we need two negative factors. Notice that 7 plus 8 is 15. So if we just make these both negative, negative 7 times negative 8 multiplies to that positive 56. And when we add them up, negative 7 plus negative 8 is negative 15. That means those become our two factors, and they join our variable, which is b. So b minus 7 and b minus 8. In the multiple choice options, we can see that matches this one right here.